the sky today Hey, I'ma dance on the clouds today And make it rain Hey there everybody and welcome back So just making a quick video because I got a couple of messages already Asking me how it is that I got the Steam Overlay while using P3D for me, the Steam Overlay um, has been something that has really been a game changer for me because although over the years I've tried a couple kneeboard add-ons and things of the sort to help me manage my charts and flight, etc., I really don't have any room on my desk for a supplementary laptop to help me look at my charts or look at flight plans and don't really like fiddling with an iPad. So because of that, I use the Steam Overlay as not only a unadulterated access to the full wor World Wide Web, but also on those long haul flights, a way of interacting with friends on Steam or watching YouTube videos or listening to music or whatever it may be. So I'm just going to show you guys how it is that I got it to work in uh, P3D and uh, hopefully it works for you as well. So the first thing you want to do is to open up P3D as you normally would. Just go ahead and start at the default flight because the only reason we're even launching it is because we are uh, trying to get to the settings. So. Here it goes now. All right, so it's uh, pretty much loaded. So what we'll want to do once we finally get it open is you'll want to hit Alt on your keyboard to open up uh, the options menu for uh, P3D. All right, so Let's go to options and then the first thing we're going to do is go to controls and the reason we're in controls is because you want to make sure that you do not have um, the buttons shift tab or the combination of those buttons uh, mapped to anything the easiest way of doing that is just to double click in a, a blank assignment area hit shift tab hit ok and then go back to it and hit delete assignment great so we are sure that we've cleared it there now there's two other things we'll need to change. Uh, number one, we'll go over to sound and make sure that this checkbox that says mute uh, on lost focus is not checked so that we can still maintain our sound. And then also we will want to go to, I believe it's general, yep, and uh, pause on task switch. You wanna make sure that's also unchecked. The one last thing that I did is I also unchecked blackout desktop under graphics, but um, you know, it, it may work for you without it, just with my particular graphics card, for some reason it gave me an issue. So blackout desktop, unchecked, pause on task switch, unchecked, and then mute on loss focus, unchecked. Great. We just make sure we hit OK to those things. And now what we'll do is just exit out of prepared. Now what we want to do is open up Steam. So you just launch Steam as you normally would. Go on over to your library. And as you guys see, there's no P3D here, obviously, because it's not a Steam game. So what we'll do is you want to go on up here. Actually, let's start here on Steam. You want to go to Settings, and you want to make sure that under the In-Game tab that you actually have the overlay enabled. Another nice little benefit of having the overlay um, is that you also get access to the Steam FPS, FPS counter, I'm sorry, um, which is uh, a nice kind of non-obtrusive, elegant uh, FPS counter um, that Steam provides. But for today, we're just going to focus on making sure that enable the Steam overlay while in game is checked. All right, so we'll hit OK there. Now we're going to go on up to games, and we're going to add a non-Steam game to my library. All right. And what we're going to do now is go on down to the section that would have P3D. It's all in alphabetical order. Just check it and then add selected program. Now, when I look in my games library, you'll see that P3D is there. All we'll do now is just hit play. So what it's going to do is it's going to launch uh, P3D just as it would if uh, you were using um, regular P3D. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so here is uh, P3D. So what we'll uh, do now is just treat it as you normally would. 
go ahead and uh, launch P3D. And you wait for it to load uh, just as you normally would. All right. And one else, one other thing that's important to know is that uh, this does work in um, uh, windowed mode as well as full screen mode. So what we'll do is I'll just put myself in full screen mode. And now I'll hit shift tab, which is the command for launching the Steam overlay. You can change it in the window that I showed you. But there you go. You can see that my Steam overlay is here. So I can go to my web browser. I can search Google. You know, I can go to... Um, YouTube if I wanted to. I can go to my uh, Simbrief account. Um, I can do just about anything I want to do um, as normal. So I have access to my flight plans. I can access the uh, Navigraph Charts Cloud. Um, you know, whatever it is that I wanted to do, um, I can do as normal. And in the background, I still have access to my sim as you can see so I can still use my rudder etc now I will tell you that some controllers have some difficulty um, with using um, uh, dedicated controllers while you're in the steam overlay I'm not quite sure how to fix that but um, if I do figure out a way I'll let you guys know but um, for right now my uh, yoke works just fine and Xbox controller will work just fine track IR works just fine but um, some other tools that you may use um, may not work as well. So that's it. That's how to get the uh, Steam overlay in uh, P3D. And I hope it was helpful to you guys. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.